News now investigates work zone danger zone. Since 1970, 90 PennDOT employees have been killed on shift. Bradford's Jack Griffin was killed October 1st, 2010, when a driver sped through a work zone, killing Griffin and injuring another employee. Protecting workers on the job has become more challenging than ever. Here's more in part one of Give Them a Break. In 2022, there were 61 work zone crashes in District 1, an increase from 2021. District 1 covers the northwest region of Pennsylvania, Erie, Crawford, Warren, Mercer, Forest, and Venango counties. It's a serious issue because it's putting people's lives at risk, uh, especially our workers that are out there just trying to, to do their job and you know improve our transportation infrastructure. It's a pillar for PennDOT. We're all about safety. It's one of our focus areas and it, safety revolves around everything that we do. Last year, there were nearly 1,300 work zone crashes with 14 fatalities. In 2021, there were 1,649 work zone crashes. Improving safety conditions has taken on a new major challenge with people driving, texting, and talking on their phone. It's not even anymore just talking on the phone, right? It's the teens are watching videos online. They're actually video uh, FaceTiming each other. Um, it's time to put that cell phone away. You wanted to post that picture online. You wanted to read that last text and you took your eyes off the road. Don't let next Memorial Day be the day that your family and your friends visit you in the ground. Three years ago, PennDOT introduced the automated work zone speed enforcement. This initiative is reducing speeds in work zones and improving driver behavior. And the biggest number, work zone crashes have been reduced. AAA suggests looking ahead 12 seconds for potential hazards or those work zones. Then leave another three to four second gap between yourself and the vehicle in front of you. There's no other places on the interstate where you're going to have pedestrian traffic feet or inches away from the travel lanes and those people have families and they're trying to make our roads better and safer and they're just trying to do their job and they have a right to go home at the end of the night to their families. Some incredible video and in part two of our special report tonight at 11 we'll talk with local PennDOT workers who were struck on the job. That's tonight on Erie News Now at